Robert K. Massey's Catherine the Great, Portrait of a Woman, is a biography of the Empress of Russia, Catherine II, that explores her life, reign, and legacy. The book provides a comprehensive account of Catherine's rise to power, her achievements, and her personal life, all while examining the historical context in which she lived. Massey begins by setting the scene of Catherine's birth and childhood. He notes that she was born into a minor noble family in Germany and received a thorough education in literature, philosophy, and politics. She married into the Russian royal family, but her husband, Peter III, was a weak and unpopular ruler, and Catherine was forced to seize power in a coup d'état. The book's strength lies in its depiction of Catherine's reign. Massey paints a vivid picture of Catherine's Russia, which was rapidly modernizing and expanding its territory under her leadership. Catherine implemented a range of reforms aimed at modernizing the country, including the establishment of a new legal code, the promotion of education, and the encouragement of trade and industry. She also oversaw significant territorial expansion, including the annexation of Crimea and the partition of Poland. Despite her achievements, Massey does not shy away from discussing the challenges and controversies of Catherine's reign. He notes that she was a complex figure who had to navigate a complex web of political and personal relationships. One of the key controversies of her reign was her treatment of the serfs, who were forced to work on the estates of the nobility. Although Catherine claimed to be sympathetic to their plight, she was ultimately unable to bring about meaningful change in their status. Massey also delves into Catherine's personal life, which was often turbulent and marked by numerous affairs. He provides a nuanced portrait of Catherine as a woman who was both intelligent and passionate, but also vulnerable and insecure. Despite her many lovers, Massey argues that Catherine was ultimately lonely and isolated, and that she found solace in her correspondence with Enlightenment thinkers such as Voltaire and Diderot. Throughout the book, Massey explores the historical context in which Catherine lived, including the wider political and cultural currents of the time. He notes that Catherine was deeply influenced by the Enlightenment, and that she saw herself as a philosopher on the throne. However, he also highlights the tensions between Enlightenment ideals and the realities of autocratic rule, noting that Catherine often had to make compromises between her ideals and the demands of political expediency. In conclusion, Catherine the Great, Portrait of a Woman, is a well-researched and engaging biography that provides a comprehensive portrait of one of the most fascinating figures in Russian history. Massey's writing is accessible and engaging, and he manages to balance a detailed analysis of Catherine's life with a broader historical perspective. The book will appeal to anyone interested in Russian history, as well as to readers who are interested in the challenges of leadership and the complexities of personal relationships.